right, we're gonna pass a couple of train cars. First one looks like it's got a big fan on the front. What do you guys think that is? Oh yeah, for our snow, our rotary snow plow. Up in the higher elevations that we'll experience today, we can get, any, we can get anywhere from 10 to 20 feet of snow. So we needed that snow plow uh, very, very badly. Now speaking of our train on our right, this red building with the yellow trim, that was our very first train station. Our train used to go right through the middle of this road. Now it functions as our Klondike Gold Rush Visitor Center. So I recommend coming back and checking that out later today if you can. That building's one of the original six buildings here. Over to our left with all that driftwood. You guys see that? Isn't that cool? First fraternity here in Skagway. Now it's our Skagway Visitor Center. That building, the face of it alone, has just under 9,000 pieces of driftwood. Yeah, quite the puzzle. Took them a number of years to put together. Now, coming up here on our right, you're going to see a pink building with maroon trim. This is our Ace Hardware. You guys, this is very important. You see, if you can't find what you need at our one and only grocery store, you come to Ace. Now, they've got a motto they take actually pretty seriously. They say, if we don't have it, you don't need it. There's apparently a lot of things I don't need this summer. They actually have a surprising amount of random things and that things that you might find yourself needing. They're kind of our, our residential Walmart. Yeah, so the Klondike Gold Rush occurred in the 1890s. It lasted about three years. Now coming up on our ride, you're going to see the beautiful Skagway River. What a gorgeous day it's turning out to be. To your right. Yeah, it's not waterfall gorgeous. Yes. Goes all the way up all the way down. So we call that Pitchfork Falls. Yeah. 